Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Now, the thing I want to mention about that last little scene right there is that Paul Luther's death actually changes depending on which deity you align yourself with. In Delta's case, he kind of blows his head to oblivion, but if you pick Chakturga or Ulioth, they just crush the fuck out of him. Which is actually kind of a bit more hilarious because you have the, have the conversation going and then all of a sudden, BAM! Dead. <laughs> So it's a bit more hilarious in that sense. Hello, flying book. Okay, so the hint we got before was to find the 88 keys. And that is referring to the piano that we were looking at before. And this is originally where we would have encountered that little hanging body thing. But now we have... Uh, uh, we now have reason to play the piano. Start a distant recollection of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind. The echoes of those within the cathedral echo also within her own consciousness. Her hands are drawn to the keys almost of their own accord. And it still and it gives us the same music sheet too. So B Y X B Y A. Still creepy as fuck. Still a creepy tone. Yes! The Forbidden City! The next chapter. Ah, here we go. This is what the next chapter is going to lead us to. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are Ah, you? he can see so, who he is. You can see me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. Mm. He's special should be given a special place among the suffering. Yep. Yep, that's the setup for the next chapter. Which is gets pretty fucking brutal. So let's go ahead and get this started in. The Forbidden City. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. Yep. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis. Mm -hmm. Hero or murderer. Mm -hmm. Much has been written. But what is not is far more interesting. I love the the Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. Mm -hmm. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Yep. Yeah. This is kind of the start. That's a pretty... That's a high tower there. That's a pretty big tower. Survey the site quickly, dog. And maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. And these guys have no idea who they're serving. And there's good old Roberto Bianchi. Is like, what the fuck are you doing? Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. Yeah. So, this is another bit of a different goal for us. Robrillo must just survey the ruins of this ancient temple. The ruins he must survey can be found on the map. Only when those areas have been inspected can the construction begin. So this kind of changes gameplay again, once once again. Uh, Mountain has constructed but has suffered some damage. The rest of the complex is unknown. So we need to find several different spots on the map that we need to survey in order for this project to to continue. And those spots are marked with the X's that you see there, kind of fading in and out. There's two rooms right there. I think there's a... There, yeah, there we go. Two more rooms there. I think there was one more room right, right there. So there's five rooms that we need to inspect. And you can imagine there's going to be some pretty gnarly shit going on in them. So this area probably, again, seems familiar, will probably look familiar. 
and because this is where we were at with Kareem. So, again, training along a familiar turf. Frantic worker looking for answers to the questions that can't be answered. He hopes Robro is there to save them and longs to see escapes. Yeah, good luck on that. So, again, starts off pretty simple, pretty sa basic, nothing bad going on. Um, think about Robro. He's got a decent amount of health, pretty low st um, sanity, almost non existent ma uh, mana. Almost non existent magic. So he's. Oh, yeah, zombies. Yep, right away, we got zombies. Now, thankfully, they die in one hit from the torch. Because otherwise, we wouldn't be able to kill that guy right now. We have to be running like a bitch. Uh, and there's. Oh, yep. One of Roberto's fellow slaves lies dead. His wounds have been attracted to the attention of the beasts, for they have been gnawed upon, open, spilling his innards onto the dusty floor. Yish. All right, let's just go ahead and keep on going. This guy has no idea what's going on. He's just here to work. These guys are just trying to do whatever they can to not get brutally murdered. Oh, hey, we have a weapon. I acquired a scythe. I think I'm pronouncing that right. At least we have a weapon now. We have a weapon. That's the important thing. Oh, uh, and there's cages here. Cages that hold things that I probably don't want anything to do with. I don't have a Tome of Eternal Darkness yet. So this fight might be a little difficult. Yep, this is gonna be a little difficult. Time for fist cuffs. Oop. There we go. Get you. Oh, get your head. There we go. Stop that process. And I'll go ahead and finish you off just so I can open up the next port. So I have sanity for the next portion. Yep, because those guys coming next. Yep. Ugh. Get your head off. I'm trying to just kind of lure you around. Here we go. Here we go. Slowly working him down. There we go. And this guy's just standing here swinging his arms about. Here we go. Hey, here we go. I can finish off from off from behind. Here we go. There we go. Down. So, it's, the main thing is the fact that the fact that you don't have your Tome of Dar Dar Eternal Darkness spells yet is the main thing that makes the initial part a little bit difficult. Not overwhelmingly so. Oh, because these guys. Thankfully, this weapon is very effective at killing even the minor guy, minor grunts. Uh, just need to get up here. I don't know how those guys managed to get by without fighting them. Ah, uh, crossbow sits at the top of the ledge. There we go, Roberto has acquired a crossbow. And I think this is one of the first rooms that we need to... Yep. Survey the dust and rocks, rock falls from... It's difficult for Roberto to assess how sturdy the place is, but it needs a lot of reinforcement if it is to be built upon. Yep. So that's one room down so far. And I want to say, uh, let's see. I think that was where I started from. Look that, at that. Oh, did I miss a room? Fuck. Let me go back and see, because I think I missed the first room. I think I forgot to examine that one. Let me see. Just run back real fast. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, I think. Yep, this is the room. Somehow I forgot to examine it, uh, to survey it. Cause that would have sucked if I for had to go all the way there and forgot to forget to examine this one. I just need to find the spot to initiate the survey at. It's usually on the outer ledges or somewhere around here. Here we go. Uh, structure around here shows signs of stress. Far from sound, perhaps with some reinforcement might be able to suit the requirements of the monument. 
Yeah. Here's the thing about all this. He's essentially building a, um, being forced to survey a site for the construction of a building that's what many would consider a prized archaeological of archaeological find. Okay, so we got two rooms surveyed so far. Let's see. Okay, so I just gotta check. Oh, here we go. Here's here's the room we need to go in. Yep, this is a familiar place. This is a familiar place. And you notice we have a new statue here. Paul Paul Luther, who died hilariously in the line of duty. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and grab that tome. And now we are prop more properly equipped now. Oh, and this guy's scared. Oh, because there's something here. Because... Oh, it's because of the trappers. He sees the trappers, and he has no idea what the fuck is going on. Ah. The worker is surprised to see Roberto. He confesses to cowardice as he stayed behind while the others ventured further into the complex. When the screams of others echoed from the walls, he dared not move. Ah, so... Same deal as before. Crossbow, not very effective for much else. Other than picking off trappers. Um, there's another one. I want to see if I can use the damage, uh, damage spell for this. Should be able to. Oh, that one was the control spell. Well, never mind then. I was looking for the damage one. I was looking for the damage spell, but I used the control one instead. Uh, let me see if I have enough magic to can't try. Some zombie. I think this one. There we go. Ow. That hurt. I hurt a little bit. But, oh no, the trapper's still there. And it's still under my control. Oh, nope, it's slowly dwindling off. Slowly wearing off. Yeah. Let me see if I can cast that one more time. Ow! Oh, crap. I just killed the other dude. I just killed the fucking other dude. Shit. And that caused my sanity to drop a lot. Now, uh, that's why I was taking damage, because it hurt him as well. It was hurting him, that's why it was damaging me. Shit. That's why it was damaging me. Shit. Well, and now my sanity is at rock bottom. Well, this, well, it kind of works out since this is supposed to be a low sanity run anyway, but shit. Classroom and scaffolding for us proceeding down the corridor, so I gotta climb up the rat ladder. Oh, and this. And now this. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of sanity back for this guy, because he's not, otherwise, he's not, not gonna be fun. Uh, get in here. Oh, I have a summon zombie spell! Problem is, I have no sanity to use it with. I do have magic, though. Let me see. Uh, recover shield, enchant. Okay. Enchant. There we go. Item is now enchanted. Let's see if this will help me with this asshole. Oh, I was, I was targeting. Yeah, you gotta be careful of what you're targeting with this guy. Cause sometimes you might be able, might end up targeting his tail instead. Uh, not good. Okay, now I think I, it's probably safe to use that damage spell. Uh, let's try a Chaturga one. That didn't really do anything to it. Didn't really do anything to it. And I'm slowly losing health. I'm slowly losing health because my sanity is at rock bottom. Just gotta 
keep messing with them. Nope, that was a miss. No, nope. there we go, got it. There we go. Now, since it's giving me the summon zombie spell, I believe I'm going. It probably means I'm going to need it in a little bit. So I'm going to need a little bit of sanity here to work with. Oh, because of, there's a, and there's also that. Yeah, let's uh get a little bit of that thing. And it's a Traturga aligned one too. Let's see, Bulliath. There we go. I'm enchanted. Shield us. Just heal ourselves. Yeah, because this is. There we go. Now, I think normally what we would probably try to do is send a zombie stronger, strong against that horror, against it. But not really necessary. Just need a couple buff spells, and then you can take them out yourself, pretty much. Let's go ahead and recover a bit of health as well. Here we go. All right. So that guy's dead. Ooh, crossbow bolts. That's gonna come in handy. Uh, let's see, nothing over here. Did I miss the room again that I needed to inspect again? I don't think I did. Don't think I did? Let me take another look. Because up here... This is a... Nah, this... Okay, this isn't a room I need to inspect. Because it's those rooms. Those two rooms I need to inspect. And then that one on the bottom. Okay. I just need to make sure to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm kinda, I'm sinking. Oh, God, I'm sinking. Oh, God, I'm sinking. Oh, God, I'm sinking. I'm going... Uh, well, then. That was interesting. On the plus side, I know where I need to go. Kind of. Yep. More. More dead bodies. Wow, that fan is shaking a lot. Oh. Okay, this is where I need to use the zombie thing from. There, that's where I need to use the zombie thing with. Um, hold off on that for a moment, though. So that I can explore a little bit. Because there's probably a couple... Oh, God. Oh, God, get away from me. Oh, God, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, you need to... Oh, he's back. Oh, he's doing the exploding thing. Oh, it's chain reacting. Yeah, definitely wanting to get away. Definitely need to get away from all that, because that's going to be a, make a big explosion. Ow! Okay, it didn't do that much damage. I just cut the tail end of it. Wow, that goes far, though. That goes far. Okay, oh, more crossbow bolts. That's going to help. So, let me see. Yeah, I give myself a little bit of health back. Alright. Oh, not enough magic. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, there's a couple rooms in here that I can inspect. Uh, let's do this one first. Oh, still not enough magic. And there's crying people. There's crying people here. Uh, should Roboto try to survey this? Yes, although crumbly in places, the structure of this area could be braced to provide enough foundation for the mo monument. Just reinforce the fuck out of all of it. Reinforce the fuck out of all of this. Oh, you're attacking me. Oh, you guys are attacking me. You guys are possessed. You guys are possessed. Yep, yep, yep. Running, 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 running. Oh, God, he's fatigued. Yeah, get in the fuck out of that. No, spank you. Okay, and the other room I need to get in that. He's in that direction. Yeah, you can tell how much. Oh, it's locked. Shit's locked, yo. Yeah, he does. Roberto's magic is not great. Roberto's magic is not great, and there's trappers here. But at least I have crossbow bolts to utilize. I just need to take aim. Fire. I mean, I 
to tech. Well, I don't really have enough magic to kind of use it. Oh god! I got too close. I got too close. Well, I'm here now. Let me see if I can get a magic use out of this. Damn, this thing is great at long range, actually. This thing is actually very effective at long range. Can I get him? Yep. Perfect shot. Man, this thing actually works pretty well at long range. Uh. Oh, hi. You're here, too. You are indeed here. Ah. Let me get a little bit of sanity back from you. Okay. Kill your ass. Alright. No spells can be cast while in a trapper dimension. Okay, never mind then. Ah. It's, it's getting really creepy lately. I think it's because I've been running on overdrive pretty, on pretty much all summer. Ah. And it's still warm in here. It's still warm. It's fucking California. Of course it's gonna still be hot down here. Even though it's supposed to be fall now. Seriously. Oh, nope. That's more zombies. Yep! And something I need to do to get across. I'm gonna leave you guys to that. I'm gonna leave that to you. So, there's a fucking... I'm gonna go ahead and try to... Let's see, damage field, summon zombie. Reveal invisible. So, those, those guys will keep that horror busy. Okay, that reveals the bridge. That's how you get across. Yeah, the key places on a pedestal, glints the room soft light. The forgotten corridor key. That's what I need. Now those zombies are gonna, let me do a quick run through this area to see. There's anything of note in here? Nope. Yeah. I kind of buffed myself up a bit there. Oh, yep. The horror's done with the zombies. Yep, run the fuck out. Don't, do not need to be finding that thing. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Not a scared wretch of a girl. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Oh. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? Wow. This isn't so really um happening. if that's not really a hint as to what that um, as to what that ghost really is, you should know right away. Oh hey. Uh Sapphire Effigy. Oh, that's right. These effigies are supposed to be coming, getting involved later as well. These are also something that you need to start collecting. Because they are pretty vital later on. But yeah, that ghost definitely not exactly the friendliest ghost. And it's not the ghost of who you think it is. Uh, Sapphire effigy. Small statuette of a sorcerer driven mad by an unseen force. It is made from a lustrous sapphire. So it's you. Here we go. So that statue is involved in something else. Not right now, but it'll come into play later on. And there's two other statues that are just like it as well. Also, this is a damage floor area. That yellow stuff? Yeah, that's a damage floor. So, um. We need to find a way to make, make our way across that. So. Let's go ahead and buff ourselves up. That thing is set. And rerun! Because otherwise, this shit would be hurting us a lot. Ugh, barely managed, managed to get across. Oh, hi. 
And there's a switch over there to get that door unlocked. And that's a dead end. Well. So, there's not much else around here. There's a scared person. Man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen and that Roberto will be next. Yep, those might be the worms. Now he is best relief at Dorns the Monolith. Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. The people have been sacrificed, ingested by the worms to fuel some unknown, unfathomable process. I think this is also a room that we need to survey. Yep, this is a room that we need to survey. So, let's go ahead and get in the spot where we can survey this shit at. Uh, I need to find a switch somewhere, though. I need to find a switch. Where are we seeing? Oh, right. Oh, that's right. You can target the rope here. And this is how you get the rope. Uh, rope. Lower it into position. So if you try it uh, ready, uh, get yourself in a combat stance, you can actually target it. And then you can cut it. Kind of like that. Like that. Like that. Like there. Like that. Jesus, fuck. Okay, so. Uh, oh, yeah, worms. And they don't even do anything to you. They just kind of steal you, sap your sanity. But it's too dangerous to survey right now. They do, yeah, they don't even really attack you. They just kind of stare at you. Yes, pull the lever. Open that up. I mean, yeah, it's still kind of dangerous, but they don't. It's not like they physically attack you or anything like that. They just kind of glare at you menacingly. Yeah, and. It, and it stops you from casting spells as well, so just kind of smack them. You just smack them once, and now get them to go away. And it's like they don't—they don't even try to attack you. They just like, stare at you, stare at you, judgingly, always judging, always with the judging. That drains your sanity more than anything else. The judging. Anyway, let's survey the fuck out of this area. The dilapidated roof appears to be collapsing in several areas, and will need a lot of reinforcement. The workers will have a daunting task ahead of them. Yep, that's uh, I believe four rooms down. So one room left, and I believe is where we need to go to put that zombie in at. So we need to go back around to where we were before. Go back across real fast. And I mean really fast because th otherwise we're going to start getting hurt from this. And you see the fucking shocks are going right into his eyes. Like affecting his mind. Alright, so thankfully we don't have that far to go here. We just need to go into this room here. And I need, well for, well for starters... I need magic in order to cast the spell that I need to summon the zombie so I can put it in that thing. So, to start with, I'm gonna need to get some health back. Well, I'm gonna need to get some sanity back first. Recover, cast, do I have enough? Just enough. Yes, just enough sanity so I can be able to summon the zombie. I don't know how much magic that requires. Just run around a little bit. Run around just a little bit. And then let's give it a shot. It doesn't really matter what the alignment is. It's we just need to summon a zombie and then so we can load it onto that trap there. And of course you can't walk onto your, on yourself, because otherwise that would mean death. Yeah, yep. Dead bodies. So, let's see if I got enough this time. Nope. Apparently, that requires a lot of mana. Apparently, that requires a lot of magic power. Ah. Just gotta wait for it to build up. There we go. Now we got enough. And summoning zombie. Here. I don't think the zombie affiliation matters. It just needs to be a zombie. Squish. And that opens that up. That releases that. And then I can climb down. 
Oh, but then we got this shit. It's an really off aligned one. Yep. Yep. He's killing. He's attacking. He attacked the zombie in order to summon the trapper. Ugh. Let me see. We need to get that trapper first. See if I. I can't even see the trapper to target it. There we go. Got it. Oh yeah, you're right there too. And you have no legs. I don't think you have legs. Yeah, I'm just not going I'm not even gonna bother fighting this guy. I just need to go. I just need to leave the room. Cause it's not worth it. It's not really worth it. Ah, oh, here we go. This is where we need to be. No further. Oh, hi, Kareem. Struck down where you stand. Who? What? I am the guardian of this temple, the Forbidden City. None shall enter except the chosen. Ew. Speak. <laughs> oh. You are the chosen. Yep. For many years, I have tested those who came here, and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield, and thus yep. must surely be the chosen. I? That's Once I was as you were, confused and without answers. Yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. Like looks at her, I was like, "Ugh, fuck this bitch, fuck her." I don't. I'm glad to be gone. I don't have to listen to her incessant bitching anymore. Oh, and there's the claw of Uliath. Roberto can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching toward him. Using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands, he retrieves the hovering artifact. The essence of Wuyoth! We have the second artifact, and a ruby effigy! That's gonna help us. Should Roberto try to survey this area? Yes. The room appears to be an incredibly ancient shrine to the ancients, as noted in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Could this be what Roberto's capture seeks to preserve with this monument? Could <laughs> be? Roberto has completed his survey of the complex. Now he can return to the service and report his findings to his captor. So now we just need to... ...wait to the entrance here. Ah, but we have a red effigy and a blue effigy. I think the green one comes back in later, and then later on in the game. Construct of human bones lashed together. Oh, this is the altar where we originally set the tome at. So see if I can do that here. Nope, there's no use. There's no use option. It's just another area that you can look at. You know, referencing earlier in the chapter, or earlier in the game. So, now that we have that, well, have what we need, we can just get the fuck out of here. Mr. No Legs here. Well, can't exactly stop us. He's just slowly dwindling our san sanity away. All right, so now that that's done, I can go back through here. Just keep working my way back around. Ah, see, I should put that, put that torch back on. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Ah, just climb. That's the only thing, it kind of forces you to backtrack all the way through in order to get back to the beginning of the area. Not exactly the best design plan. It's not exactly the best decision for game design. It should... I mean, I guess it allows you to collect more stuff if you want to, like get those effigies. But, it should, once you've gotten everything, it should just automatically send you back outside. I mean, it's not like this is a long, a long chapter or anything. And if maybe that's what their attention was, trying to add a couple minutes to the length, overall length of the chapter, try and get some extra time out of it. But it's not really necessary when you think about it. 
Not really something that they needed to do in the first place. At least Roberto's got a good amount of stamina to work with. Let's see. Can I go this way? Is this the okay, yeah, this is the way I need to go. Oh, they're waiting for me. And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your hmm. goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. Nope. But the demons. He doesn't give a You'd shit. You'd be insane to build there. He Silent is insane. Talk. What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Mm. God! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. Yep. This is where shake it's brutal. I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you. Yep. Since no one knows He's throwing them into the fucking liberty, tower. Except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent. Doesn't give a shit about any of them. He's just using, drawing them in. Architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. Yep, throw him in the tower! Now you may recognize this tower from one of the pictures in the room in the Royvis Mansion. This is that tower. And there's Bianchi. Fuse them all to be part of the fucking tower. Ugh. That is not a pleasant way to go. That is not a pleasant way to go. Chapter complete. And the plans are still aligning. Plans are still aligning. Eh. Excuse me. Ugh. Not exactly the most exciting chapter, but hey, it's interesting in its own regard. But, we see this painting right here. Sir, oh, and it allows us to. We can now survey the area because the dirt is falling down right here. Yes. Uh, unseen force guides Alex's hand toward the painting, compelling her to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind it. Yes. A sense of familiarity comes, overcomes her as the chapter page comes to her fingers. So does the realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. A war to end all wars! So we're slowly progressing through the bits of the game. Oh, and there's Augustus, busy as usual. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Ugh. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. He's just it working on a corpse. And guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. Mm. He's just keep, he just keeps working on a fucking corpse. I was like, ah, uh, he's trying to pretend, like, he's trying to pretend to ignore the guy. It's like, ah, uh, fuck this asshole. I'm just keep pretending like I'm doing something. Duh, duh, duh. Pick the rib, pick up the, pick apart the ribs, tear the flesh. Uh, anyway, next time on Eternal Darkness, we see, we see what this war to end all wars is about. It's not going to be pleasant, I can tell you that much.